We're back inside of our $5,000 storage unit, the most expensive storage unit in the entire state. Nothing but collectibles. Let's get back into it. Look how much more we have to go through. I am so excited I could barely sleep last night. Let's do it. We're going to start by finishing off this corner here. What is this giant football bobblehead thing? A Packers player? The box is obviously a little damaged, but that definitely looks old school, doesn't it? Yeah. You think we can find a date on him? Let's see. There, 2001. Oh, uh, I said this before. That's 22 years ago. That feels like it should be 1980 something. By the way, if you didn't see the other parts of this video, links are in the description. We've been pulling out nothing but collectibles since we started. It's been awesome. I feel like my head just turned too much. <laughs> All right, look at this one. She is a little crooked in her box, but this is an old school Bratz doll. She's I facing the wrong way. She's like, I don't want to look at the camera. I'm I didn't even shy. know they made them that big. I didn't either. I always think of them like this size, like the Barbie size, right? Mm -hmm. Does, he's got, does she have a date on her? I don't know, oh, 2003, so that's 20 years ago. 20 year old Bratz doll. You sit right there, man. Be good for me. Thank you very much. What is, I see Star Wars. I see Star Wars next. What is this guy? Ooh, I like this. Star Wars, episode one. Who is that? I don't know the characters. Guys, who is that? Somebody tell me. I was about to say okay. Luke Skywalker, but I have no idea. Obi-Wan Kenobi? I've Obi heard that name a hundred times. Yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Interactive Talking Bank. Okay, does this have a date on it? Night? No way, it's 1977? 77? Whoa, that's old. I feel like I need to get my phone out and scan this. Star Wars stuff, I'm a Dragon Ball collector, so I know the value of a lot of that stuff. But I know Star Wars market is even bigger here, so I feel like that could have some serious value. Actually, I'm about to scan it. I don't even see a barcode. Just turn it. I thought it I saw it. Oh, there it there is. There we go. Okay, let's go let's get and pull out the phone and scan it. What's your guess? Before we get there, what's your guess? Uh, 80 bucks. 80? Yeah. Let's see what he's going for. Loading. You know how storage facilities are like dead zones? Oh, not as much as I thought. Let's see. Let's filter it to sold, not listed. Listed does not mean what they're selling for. That's what people are trying to sell them for. Sold only like 30 bucks. And one sold for 60. 30 to 60 bucks, but you know what? I'll take it. That's one item. And I think I see two of those right here. There's another one. Is this a different guy? No, it says the nope, same, same thing. One. Definitely box. better condition. Yeah, I was about to say the box is in much better shape in this one. The plastic is mostly intact there, so that's a big improvement. That's good money all day. What about these? That, ooh, Cabbage Patch. Oh, they're from 2018, so they're obviously not gonna be vintage or anything like that, but we got two five-year-old still Cabbage Patch kids. Are they both the same thing? Uh, no, they're not, are they? Different dresses. Different dresses, but two Cabbage Patch kids, they're always collectible. They have like one of those cult following fan bases, so I bet you that's money all day. I put down that figure that was sitting up into this toe, so we can just pull this whole toad out. This is a Mars Converters? Is this like a knockoff Transformers? I know with Dragon Ball stuff, like some of the knockoffs and bootlegs are actually worth a lot of money because they're nostalgic, you know? So if that's what that is, cool. But otherwise it might just be its own brand. Oh, look at this guy. A little bobblehead. That's kind of cool for sure. Hey, shake. Why'd they put the plastic so tight? You won't shake. <laughs> the hog it's a bobblehead. What? The hogette. Why does she look so familiar? Madeline's friend. Do you remember this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is my childhood right here. This is from 1998. So about the time I was four, it would actually been perfect. That's cool. This right here, King's Castle. What is that? It's a mug or something? Yeah. Let's take it out and see. Come on out. What are you? Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Super nice. Like a comic strip type thing? That's what it looks like, King of the Castle. All right, let's put it back in its box so it doesn't get damaged. And we got two Barbies here. Barbie, number one, Happy Holidays does have a year on it. I don't see one, do you? No. What about on the back? Not that I see, but we got one Barbie. Is this the same one? Mm-hmm. Yep, two of the same Barbies right there. Let's go into this back. Eesh. This one is, well, what's that? A jigsaw puzzle. What is this, spring book? Hallmark cards. Okay. It's all like pigs and animals in there. That's kind of cool. Jigsaw puzzle though. Yeah. You gotta go here and in here. Looks like we have another Barbie of some kind. Come on out. The box is kind of beat up, but it's still Barbie. There's another Happy Holidays Barbie. Like I said, the box on this side, not in the best condition, but still overall cool collector's doll. 
Anything else in here? That's it. But every toe we pull out is literally just full of collectibles. So you better leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe right now because there's going to be a lot more where this came from. Let's grab the last tote on this side real quick. And this table said, nope, you're going to grab me first. Fine table. So that's you good. insist. You can well, use it. Oh yeah, we can actually. That's <laughs> actually a good idea. There we go. Now we got non-broken back, Jeebus. Now we can go through totes on there. Unless this tote's heavy enough and it just collapses it right away, which I hope it doesn't. This is heavy. Nah, not too heavy. What do you think? Action figures, glass. Yeah. Action figure. Mmm, a mix. I see lunch boxes and stuff. Elmo's world. Let's check this out first. <gasps> That's Barney. Barney. I almost guarantee you I had. I don't remember, but I can almost guarantee you I had it. I was obsessed with Barney when I was Do little. Do it. Oh, it plays a song. You think so? Oh. Oh. It's gonna scare me. Come on, Barney. I'm just gonna do you fast. No, Barney. Ah! Hey! It works. That's cool. That's Mar the Marching style. band, Barney. Go back in there. Stay inside your spot. And we also got the Curious George one, which I'm almost certain we found before. This one looks familiar, doesn't it? Not to me. No? I thought we found one like in a box before. Let's put it down here. And we got lunch boxes, the Avengers. El Ooh, almost full. Got something in there. Maybe it's a thermos. No, football helmets. The Giants, the Dolphins, the Vikings, and a whole bunch of other irrelevant teams. Yeah, I said it. Especially if you're an Eagles fan. Oh, gosh. And they're probably going to win the Super Bowl, too. <sighs> if the Super Bowl's over the time you've seen this, I recorded it beforehand. Let's put that down here. What do we got in this Thomas the Train bag? What do you got for me, Thomas? Oh. Actual Thomas the Train pieces. Check that out. The tank engine. Is this like all one big train? I think it is. You see that? It's got a remote. It actually moves. Look at that. So a remote control whole Thomas the Train set. Now that, that's cool. You can go right over here. Please just go to the bottom of the tote. Don't fight me. What is this? No parking. Violators will be towed with Lightning McQueen and what's that thing's name? Mater. Mater. Okay. I've only seen the first <laughs> movie one time when it first came out. These are these, what are they called? I always know or been told. Books. Yeah, to look for this on the spine, like the golden thing. We got the Pink Panther, Hansel and Gretel. Looks like Snow White. Snow White, are these backwards? Boy with a drum, Bambi, Roadrunner, a rabbit, and this one. Lots of old school books there. Missed one, Adventure Time. This was the, around the era I stopped watching Cartoon Network as a kid when this starts to come out. We got Star Wars. Um, let's see. Another lunchbox. I see something about Star Wars Trilogy down here. Is this a VHS or a what? Let's see what this is. Open up, please. Looks more like a DVD set. So Star Wars Trilogy, DVDs. And we got this Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. It, what is this? Is this a recording of it or what? Come on out, come on out. Oh no, look, it is probably. Freaking cassette tapes of probably the whole book being read to you. If you don't remember those books, they're huge. One more thing at the bottom, what is this? Ooh, look at this, America's Game. Super Bowl one slash XL, or through XL, how do I open it? Here it is. What are these? Hmm, is this all, are these all the games? Look at this. These are like recordings, the like DVDs of all the Super Bowls. That is actually something I've never seen before, but I imagine that's pretty expensive too. Check out the nice case it's got with it as well. Again, every tote is just money collectibles. There also looks like there's a whole bag of shoes here. We pulled out some shoes earlier in videos, but this looks full. I mean, good stuff too. Like we got Timberland, are these Jordan? Let me guess, let me guess, 12s. I think so. Really? I think I might have got it. I think I might have got it. That's totally not because somebody commented on the post that I thought they saw Jordan 12. Whoever you are, maybe seem smart for a second. <laughs> That's it. These, there's the other Tim. We got a pair of Chuck Taylor All Stars. Nice stuff, actually. They're all like small, too. Yeah, look at those. Nice. Kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, I bet you this is easily a couple hundred dollars at least just in shoes. Butterflies, just full all the way down. Is this another? This is the one we found the one of earlier and didn't find the other one yet. And I was like, maybe it's in that bag. 
it's in that bag, so a lot of money in shoes. Check out this Coca-Cola purse. <laughs> drink Coca-Cola in bottles. How else would you drink it? A can, I guess? Yeah. Or like, why? Why do they want to sell the bottles more than anything else? That doesn't really make sense, but that's pretty cool. Coca-Cola purse, you get down there. What is this old car here? And this is another lunchbox. This definitely looks old, doesn't it? Yeah. What does it look like? It's from the actual question. No information. There's something on the bottom. Wonder Wheels. So maybe it's just a car toy or toy car brand. Lunchbox and gives anything inside. Nah. But still, a cool dew point lunchbox. Sit right there with your friends. What else do we got? A little robot. And what are these right here? Ooh, I see more Star Wars and more totes. <laughs> Robots, what is this? I don't have a clue what these are. Let's see. Oh look, they look like art pieces that come out. How's that written, like this? Yeah. So it goes out like that? Yep. Anyone out here watching this video recognize these? Let us know what information you know down in the comments. That's cool, I'm gonna set this one on this tote. Let's see if this one's the same one or not. Is it? No, it's definitely not. It's bigger. Check that out. Is it upside down? Yeah, you gotta put it sideways again. This way. Yeah. Bang. Definitely nice. cool. Definitely cool. We'll fold these back on once we put them back in the totes. Put them over here. Look at this. I had this when I was a kid. SpongeBob and Sandy, basically like Rock'em Sock'em robots. Uh, why does SpongeBob just helmet go? What about Sandy? Sandy can take a shot, man. Sandy's got a chin. Look at this. Sandy's just eating unanswered punches. Sandy! Okay, Sandy's on steroids. <laughs> Sandy's clearly on steroids. There's no other explanation for that. Definitely steroids. We got us a Scooby-Doo lunchbox. That's pretty cool. And then we got, what else do we got in this pile? Precious moments. And this, this is what I think of when I see precious moments. Like the little snow globes. There it is. You can see their faces. Yep. And then let's see what this Star Wars thing is. That is, what, a mug? 3D character mug. A 3D character mug, and it's definitely in there. I can tell you by the weight. We got us a bucket here with, looks like a bunch of little miniature cards. Hey, look, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Frosted Toast Crunch. I forgot what it was called. It's French that, Toast Crunch. French Toast, okay. <laughs> Isn't it actually called Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I think so, yeah. Maybe if that's an old name, or maybe it's a special like one-off thing they did. Not sure, but cars, you guys can go right over there. And check this picture, I see Babe Ruth. That's cool, this guy seemed to have quite a bit of Babe Ruth stuff. Nothing signed yet, but you know, there might be that Babe Ruth signed home run ball in there somewhere. Yeah. Maybe, worth a couple million dollars, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Campbell's metal lunchbox. Is there something in there? Hmm, it doesn't have a, oh there it is. What is that? I think that might be part of the box, it is. Oh, it is outside. Yeah, look missing its piece right there but at least it's in there so it's an easy repair let's grab this looney tunes thing that we got that and this is looney tunes dinner or diner ceramic soup mugs Ooh, i want to see what they look like let's see do we have bugs bunny well we have daffy duck and i'm going to go ahead out on a limb and guess the other one's probably bugs bunny let's see bugs bunny oh they have their own menu what does bugs bunny say carrot burger Bugs Bunny fries, veggie shake, and carrot cake. <laughs> What's a Daffy's? Crazy Burger, Daffy Duck fries, Dub Gub Banana Shake, and Nutty Fruit Cake. All right, I think <laughs> right. Uh, I don't really like either of their menus. I'm not going to either of their <laughs> restaurants. Let's go into this stack here. It looks like books, but some of their books they've had are money for sure. Baseball as America. Definitely America's game. All Century Team, another baseball book. This book is shaped like a baseball, it looks like. <laughs> The ballpark. Illustrated tour of baseball parks. Let's see, let's just open one. That's pretty cool. Nice. How many baseball parks have you been to in your lifetime? I've been to Camden Yards, Yankee Stadium, Nationals, I think that's it. Those three. Can you tell which area I'm from? <laughs> <laughs> just picture history of baseball. Ooh, look, I see a quarter map. Ooh. I think it's got the quarters in it. Yes. Do we have any cash? Come on, give me the money. Aww. Oh, brand new. Aww. That's a Still, cool. I, I like this design. Yeah, me too. That's actually pretty cool. We'll keep that for sure. And we got some vinyl records here. Look like some Disney stuff. We got a Mickey Mouse one. I love what? Per oh, I love a parade. Okay. Then we got Dance Party. Woo! And then another Mickey Mouse vinyl. 
Nice. Then we got Eminem sitting in his chair like. <sighs> yeah, like his beat go up. Yeah, I think he dispenses candy into oh. the rug right here. Thank goodness there's not M&Ms in there. They would probably be so gross and moldy, I wouldn't even know what to do with it. You think this is actually what it says, or I something say cool no. in there? Yeah, I think there's something cool in there. Let's see. Oh. It actually is what it says. At least it's in the box. What is this logo on this wooden plaque right here? Do you recognize that at all? I do not. Is there anything written on the back? No. If anyone recognizes where this is from, please let us know down in the comments because I'm kind of curious. I feel like it could be something cool, but I don't know. So let's set it there. Old lunchbox, who is it? Oh, the Braves. Ew. Can I make something cool? What's this right here? Whoa, is this a whole Lego thing? I'm gonna guess by that sound, this thing is probably packed full. Open? Do no. you take them off? I don't know, let's see. Oh, there's the drawer. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and close that and let it just be known that it's full of Legos. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! A giant spot. Look, this side's cool, aren't you? A giant metal SpongeBob lunchbox. That's pretty cool. I feel like we're gonna keep a lot of this stuff. Some of these cartoons. Another, like, Hot Wheels car. This one doesn't feel like there's anything in it, but I wanna make sure. No. But still, a nice big Hot Wheel car collector's case. Set it right there. This is a light saw? I guess it's a light. Yeah. Something tells me light. <laughs> this, a robo for curious kids. It's a robot, but I guess it looks like a boom box to me. Yeah. It's like a kid's boom box or something like that. You sit right What year there. is on that? The boom box? Yeah. Let's see. Does it have a year? It says what kind of batteries it takes. 1988. This is six years older than I am. Mm -hmm. Definitely cool. You go right there. Operation. Anything in there? I hear a little bit of a sound. No, but check that out. Little Operation Metal Tin Lunchbox. And then we got McDonald's Lunchbox and McDonald's Hamburgers. Go there for lunch today. You know what? <laughs> I go get some McDonald's. Ew. Let's go. Braves. Ugh. Ugh. This is blasphemy. This devalues the unit. Sorry to all the Braves fans, but I like to talk trash to every team. Let's go to this stack over here. On top, we have a Star Wars Shadows of the Empire comic book. Not in the greatest of shape, but it is pretty cool looking from Dark Horse Comics. Then we got J.K. Rowling's Wizard World Movie Magic. This book is actually in good shape. What is this here? This is not a book. This is a Salter. What the heck is that? Oh, it opens up. It's like a turntable, isn't it? I oh, know it's a weight. It's weight. Dietary computer skip. Oh, okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. Then this one card fell out of it. This guy right here. Let me see if it has a year on it. This is from 1990, a baseball card. And I think, yes, my thought is correct. This whole box, oh man, this whole box is nothing but baseball cards. Check that out. Like it's just low dead. Are they all from 1990? 1990, I'm gonna check two more and just get an idea. This guy here is from 1990, or 1988 actually. So there's some 80s mixed in there. And this one's from, I don't see a date. So 80s and 90s. Look at this right here. <laughs> this, oh boy, oh boy. Can you tell? This whole top is actually like race car, NASCAR. Uh, cards. Is that NASCAR? It looks like it's just racing. Max. It's just racing. Hmm. So that whole thing is full of those racing cards. And let's get a year on one of these. These are from 1991, about. So early 90s. Whoa. And then go underneath of it. Look at all the baseball. These look older. What are you, you going to guess? 80s? 90s. That's a Topps card. You think 90s too? Let's see. I think 1990. Mm, 1978. Yeah. That's what it says on here at least, but yeah, check that out. They all, yeah, 1978, okay. That's cool, so some 70s era baseball cards, and they go all the way down. I wish you could see on this side, look at that. All the way down, there's thousands of baseball cards in this one box alone. This box, again, is full of all cards, oh boy. I see mostly baseball, but I do see at least one uh, NBA card mixed in there. You know what, since this is ceramic rack for the point of traveling, I think I'm gonna leave it ceramic wrapped. Yes. <laughs> that, Cause I feel like, oh my gosh, these are all cards too, guys. Oh my gosh, get out of here. Ugh. Oh, 
Okay. Now yeah, basketball. These are all NBA cards. All the way down. Wow. <laughs> 1990. What year is Michael Jordan's rookie card? That's the one, obviously, we want to look for. It's worth the most money. You know what? Why do I keep asking questions when I have technology right in front of me? Let's see if we can get service in here. What year is the Michael Jordan rookie card? Come on. No. It hurt. Come on. According to the Athletic, in a mm -hmm. record sports card sale, in 1986 to 1987 is what it says. So these might be a little bit older. There's a rookie right there. Look. There's a rookie card. There's a bunch of them. It's a couple of them. So, no telling what's in here or how far back these years go. This could be thousands of dollars if the right cards are in there. You're never gonna guess what's in this box. More cards. Ugh. Okay. Look at that. Man. Look at that. All the way. Again, how many cards do you think we have right now? 20,000 <laughs> yeah. or so? Again, these are this, this is 1976, so 70s, all kinds of old cards in there. We're definitely going to need somebody to go through these for us and take somewhere. Guys, let us know in the comments if we should make a video for the second channel where we get someone to look through all the cards and let us know what we have. We're only going to make the videos if you guys want to see them, so you got to let us know. And in here, these look like all the NFL ones. Man. Let's just take one out again. This guy is from 1989. So again, probably 80s, 90s NFL stuff, but so many cards to go through. You guys see that big, long black case right there? I am so excited to see what's in there, but we'll get into that in a bit. First, let's get this big blue duffel. Why is it so heavy? This blue duffel bag down first. What is this? A giant gorilla? Okay. Whoa, I see Supreme. No way if this is real. What the heck? Look at this. A Supreme bag? Man, we gotta look for a tag in here or something. I'm gonna guess this is probably a knockoff only because look at the way it's coming off right here. You see that? Yeah. But on the inside it has Supreme all through it. No sign of a tag or nothing, which again, it probably should be a sign. It's probably a knockoff, but just in case, we're definitely gonna get it looked at because it could be very valuable. So Winnie the Pooh bag? Let's go in here. Ugh, come here, Winnie. Get out, Winnie. Is it just the bag, you think? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, yeah, just the bag. But can you see the side of it? Oh, it's not on that side. Look at it. Winnie the Pooh. A nice Winnie the Pooh bag. Uh, the next one's Tigger, so he just had quite a couple bags in here as well. There's a Tigger bag. Nice. There's a Gators. Definitely nice. Nice. I want to know where all this weight's coming from. It's got to be in one of these. There's no way they're all empty champion bag what's this open up you can you see it what's that say yeah, jansen sport okay i thought it was gonna be something collectible i don't know if that's collectible this is just another black nike bag okay weird that's all that's in the main compartment but maybe these side compartments nothing what about over here one of these got to have it. by the way this is a nike bag too it says it on the side Nothing in here, really? All that weight just coming from those bags? It doesn't seem possible. Um, let's look in here. Uh, absolutely nothing. So it's literally a bag full of bags. Not what I was expecting, but cool nonetheless. Let's go into this bag. This one's really heavy too. What in the heck? This makes no sense if this is empty. All right, there's nothing in there. But what's in the front? Just a Nike bag? Okay, so does it just bag just heavy? It might be, but let's see. There might be something in there, obviously. We gotta check. Where is the zipper at? Over Here's here. One. I got one. There's like three sections of the zipper. The main compartment is empty. I'm gonna guess he just had some nice brand bags. Let's check in here, though, because you can never be too sure. All it takes is one bag to have $10,000 in it. No, nothing in there. I think that's the last. Oh, no, I'm lying. One more compartment up here. No, so just again, two more nice bags. And under them, we got the Wave Master here. These are cool. You fill it up with water or sand, whatever you want to do. And you can just kick the living you know what out of this thing and it won't fly over. And then beside it, the old school Century Heavy Bag. So two nice bags to load up. Now we got those bags out of the way. We've uncovered even more beautifulness. Like, what is this guy? What are you? You open up into something. Oh, a dartboard. Cool. We oh. might. Might, might have to keep this for the house. <laughs> you stay right there, buddy. Don't move. Let's take out this box of beautifulness right here. What do we got in here? We have this 
I don't know what he is, but I know he's an evil villain. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> like, I've seen him before. I don't know what he's from, though. What show? Oh, he, I think he shoots something. Because, like, in his back, he has, like, little marbles or balls. And I see you can open it. Yeah, that opens it. And this definitely looks like the right size to fire him. So probably somehow, maybe this connects here. Oh, look. The tube's busted. But that connects there. And this dude can literally fire marbles at you. So nice. he might even be deadly to real people. <laughs> you stay there. This is... This is a football, a Castrol Edge football. There's nothing on it that I see. I was looking for signatures or anything. I don't see anything, just the ball. If that's collectible for any reason, let me know. But speaking of collectible, look what I see. Shiny. Wilson NFL signed ball. You can definitely tell these signatures are put on the ball, like written actually, but who are they? Let me zoom in a couple. I, I don't have. know. I can't read them. No, yeah, I have no idea either. Paul something. Guys, let us know who these signatures are if you recognize them. But definitely super cool. Go right here. Let's see what else is in this box. This. If you don't like our videos, oh wait, ready. <laughs> if you don't like our videos, that's for you. <laughs> Just saying. Better leave it a thumbs up right now. What is that? A Knight's Kingdom. Oh, oh look, all the pieces are actually in there. That's pretty cool. Set that guy right over here. What is this? Looney Tunes, Tasmanian Devil. What though? Is it a lunchbox? Shakespeare. Let's it's see. A fishing lore. Or oh, it's fishing nothing. Rod. You think that's what it is? A fishing boat? Oh, it says Shakespeare. So that's like oh. a fishing rod thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure you can use it as a lunchbox. Yeah, but I think you're right. I didn't notice the Shakespeare. What are these flags right here? Let's open them up and see what we got. Come on, flag. I tell you, it's Carolina Panthers, isn't it? There's two of them. Yeah. Keep pounding. Gross. No, I'm kidding. I actually have a cousin who likes them, so it makes me want to say gross instantly. Mm -hmm. This one is, what is that? Ferrari? Upside that, down. Uh, upside down. But well, it looks like a Ferrari flag, right? Yeah. Boom. That. Then what else do we got down here? I like this baseball here. Let's get this off. A little watch. But there is that dude. These signatures, I can tell you, are printed on the ball. You could tell. Look at that. But it's a Braves ball in the card. What else is in here? Let's see. Spider-Man napkins. A remote to a, maybe that TV. There's a TV down there. <laughs> Hopefully to that. A little watch. What else is down here? Uh, a Braves ball. A Porky Pig cup. What's the little miniature bat? What does that say? Louisville Slugger. Some logo on the end, huh? Yeah. All right. That. These guys, Legos, uh, more Legos, and lastly, a World Cup 98. It looks like almost like a scarf, I think. What do you think that is? Yeah, I would say a scarf. A scarf. These two totes are 100% full of action figures, plus, you see how many totes we have over here? Like 10 to 20 on this side, plus who knows what else. You know what? Make sure you're subscribed and you come back next time to keep seeing more. Peace out.